guys welcome to Lexa Paris today's video is all about the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM and PM pouch and today's video I'll be going over the detailed features of each of the pouches I will also show you how much and what you can actually fit inside of each pouch and of course I will let you know if I think they're worth the cost and why you shouldn't sell your Neverfull pouches so if that sounds like something you're interested in watching I hope you'd consider subscribing to the channel and also hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's get started. First, let's talk about the detailed features of each of the pouches. Whether you get the Neverfull MM or GM, the pouch that comes inside is the same. There isn't a difference in terms of the length of the pouch. However, there is a difference if you decide to purchase the Neverfull PM pouch. And as you guys can see, the Neverfull PM pouch is relatively smaller than the MM or GM. The Neverfull MM or GM pouch has a base length of 9.75 inches, 6.25 inches in height. When it comes to the Neverfull PM pouch, it has a base length of 7.5 inches and 4.5 inches in height. So as you can see, there is a difference in terms of the dimensions. Unfortunately, Louis Vuitton does not sell these pouches separately. You do have to purchase the Neverfull PM, MM, or GM in order for you to get those pouches. However, you are able to purchase them from the pre-love market. And if you're interested in knowing the retail value of these pouches in the pre-love market, the Neverfull MM or GM pouch is going to cost you anywhere between 450 to 650 US dollars. And those are for the classic prints. Now, once you start getting into the limited edition or seasonal Neverfulls, they do tend to price a little bit higher, anywhere between 700 and I've even seen some for a thousand US dollars, depending on the limited edition piece. The Neverfull PM retails for 395 US dollars up to 550 dollars on the pre-love market. So that roughly gives you an idea of how much you can expect to pay for these pouches if you want to purchase them separately. If you own a Neverfull, you can purchase the Neverfull pouches as a spare part, but that is only if you have a Neverfull purchase under your profile or purchase history. Here's a look at the back of the pouches. They both feature a D-ring and you also have on the monogram print, untreated vachette leather. And this particular Neverfull pouch, I've had it in my collection for eight years. So I'm going to get a little bit closer. As you guys can see, the vachette leather tab has patinaed. Even though this is a piece that I primarily use inside of my handbags, you can expect to have some patina on the vachette leather. And I also have some color transfer. So I'll go ahead and flip it this way so you can see. But I do have some color transfer on the vachette leather tab that is primarily because i did utilize this piece inside of other handbags which cause color transfer here's a closer look at the neverfull mm pouch it does come with a removable and detachable strap that you can use to either carry this pouch wristlet style or to hook it inside of the d-ring of your neverfull and here's a look at the pouches on top of each other so you can get a better view of the size difference as you can see, the Neverfull MM pouch is significantly larger, taller, and wider than the Neverfull PM pouch. Here's a look at the side of the pouches. So the side does feature glazing. So that is something that you want to be mindful of in terms of wear and tear. I haven't experienced any issues with the glazing of the Neverfull PM pouch. As I mentioned, I've owned this piece for about seven years. The Neverfull MM and the Damier Ben is the latest Neverfull that I added to my collection. I've had this piece for about three years, so the glazing is fairly new and in great condition. And here's a look at the bottom of the pouches, and you also have glazing towards the bottom. And here you have another side view. Both of the pouches feature a zippered closure with gold hardware. And the zipper pull on the Neverfull PM pouch is a little bit shinier. I don't have any wear and tear on the zipper pull of this pouch, whereas the zipper pull on the Neverfull MM is 
a matte finish. The interior of the pouch features textile lining and the interior will correspond with the interior of your Neverfull. So the Neverfull PM that I own features the Pivoine interior lining. So here you have the Pivoine lining inside of this pouch with the stripes and this particular piece was made in France. And what's also great about the Neverfull pouches is the fact that it features a slip pocket. Now the slip pocket and the Neverfull PM is relatively smaller in comparison to the Neverfull MM. Also have your date code tucked inside of the slit pocket. So besides the slip pocket, you have no other organization inside. Here's a look at the interior of the Neverfull MM pouch and it features the beautiful classic red textile lining and this Neverfull was also made in France. And as I mentioned, just like the Neverfull PM, it features a slip pocket. You also have your date code in the back. Here's a look at the slip pocket of both of the pouches and as you guys can see, the slip pocket of the Neverfull MM or GM is significantly larger and longer than the Neverfull PM. So now let me show you what you can actually fit inside of the Neverfull PM. And I will also go over how I like to utilize this piece and why I think you should keep your Neverfull pouches if you own a Neverfull. Because too often I do see people selling the Neverfull pouches because they don't have a use for it or they don't know how to use it. And that's why I wanted to spend some time today to go ahead and film this video to show you different ways that you can utilize this piece. I think it's a great add-on and it's a very valuable and functional piece. Smartphone will fit inside of the Neverfull PM pouch. A smartphone that I currently have stored inside is the iPhone 8. If you own the iPhone 12, unfortunately, it will not fit. But anything smaller than the iPhone 12 will definitely fit inside of the Neverfull PM pouch. You can also fit your four ring key holder inside of the Neverfull PM pouch. Here's a look at the phone with the four ring key holder. If you own a card holder, that will also fit inside of this pouch. So you have the option of placing it in the main compartment or in the slit pocket. So let's go ahead and place the card holder inside of the slit pocket. And as you guys can see, that fits perfectly. Go ahead and close her up. Now, because of the shape of this pouch, it will expand when you add your contents inside of it. So that is to be expected. So don't expect to have a perfect zipper pull when you close it. It is going to be a little bit wonky when you close the zipper because of the shape of the Neverfull PM pouch. But as you guys can see, I currently have all of the essentials that I need to just grab and go. And it also comes with the removable and detachable strap that I showed you on the Neverfull MM earlier. However, since I utilize this for a different purpose, which I'll share in a moment, I don't keep it attached, but it is an option and you can use it as a wristlet. So these are all of the essentials that I would need for a quick errand run because I have everything that I need. I have my card holder, my keys, and my smartphone. If you own the pochette clay, that will also fit inside of the Neverfull PM pouch. So here I have my key pouch and the smartphone, and I could still fit the card holder towards the back. And there you go. This is what the interior looks like with my wallet, phone, and the pochette clay. And let's see how she looks when it's closed with this option. And same thing, the zipper is a little bit wonky. It's a little bit better in comparison to the four key holder. But as I mentioned, that is something to be expected. Now, the way that I like to use this particular pouch is to store my feminine products. And this one goes inside of all of my handbags. And I rotate between the classic monogram print and the Damia Aben version. For those of you that may not be familiar with my collection, I also own the Neverfull PM and the Damia Aben print. So that one also has a very similar pouch. So if I'm rocking a Damia Aben bag, then I will go ahead and just transfer everything that is currently in here inside of the Damia Aben pouch. So this is how I like to use my Neverfull PM pouch. So basically, I just have some Kleenex, I have feminine products, I have feminine wipes, a compact Aleve for that time of the month. So this is also another great option. If you currently don't have anything to store your feminine products and you don't want them to be exposed inside of your handbags, this option actually closes perfectly. So there you go. Because everything in here is flat, it closes perfectly. I have no issues whatsoever. Now, I do want to mention that 
over time, the canvas will stretch. So as you guys can see, the canvas is naturally stretched in this piece because of the fact these are the items that I keep in here on a daily basis. And I just want to show you what I mean by over time, the canvas will stretch out. So here's a look. I went ahead and removed the feminine products. So I'm going to go ahead and close it. And as you guys can see, it's naturally stretched. When it comes to the Neverfull MM pouch, I like to use it as a grab and go clutch, especially on those days that I want to be very compact when I'm running errands. If you own the Victorine wallet or any compact wallet in general, that will fit perfectly inside of the Neverfull MM pouch. And here's a look at the Victorine wallet inside, and I still have plenty of room to add other essentials. One thing that I do want to point out is the fact that if you do decide to place a compact wallet in here, although it fits, it does take up space. So you're not going to be able to maximize the space inside of this pouch by using a compact wallet. Your pochette clay will also fit. My iPhone will also fit. And again, this one is the iPhone 8. If I wanted to carry my four ring key holder, that will fit as well. There you go. So that fits nicely alongside the Victorine wallet. The last thing that I would carry in here would be Kleenex and it's very thin. So I placed that right behind the iPhone. And that is pretty much all that I would carry because if you fill it to the brim, you're going to have difficulty closing this piece. So let's go ahead and close her up. It closes perfectly. Again, this is to be expected because of the shape of the Neverfull pouch. If you don't care much for this look, then I would recommend removing some contents. I honestly don't mind. As I mentioned, I use it as a wristlet and I'm okay with this look because it has all of the essentials that I need inside. So now let me show you if you remove the compact wallet, how much space you have and what else you can actually place inside of this pouch. So I removed the wallet and we're going to place the card holder instead. And here's a look at the card holder stored inside. And as you guys can see, I have plenty of room left if I want to add other essentials. If you own the pochette Kirigami, that will also fit. We'll go ahead and place that right in front of the card holder. Now let's go ahead and close her up. So as you guys can see, it does close. Same thing with the zipper pull, but this is also another great option. If you have a pair of slim sunglasses, that will also fit inside of this pouch. However, I would recommend that you place it inside of a protective sleeve so that you don't have to worry about your SLGs scratching the lens of your glasses. So look at the sunglasses. What I did was I removed the pochette Kirigami and replaced it with the sunglasses. If you like to carry a pen inside of all of your handbags, a pen will also fit inside of its case in the Neverfull MM pouch. And this is what it looks like with the pen case stored inside. And now let's go ahead and close her. And look at that, guys. That closes perfectly with everything that I currently have stored inside. Here's a look at the front. Here's a look at the back of the pouch. If you want to carry your cosmetics with you and you own the Chanel O case or O pouch, that will also fit comfortably inside of this pouch. Here's a look at the Chanel O case. Now, what I did was I went ahead and obviously removed the Kleenex that I had in here, the pencil case and the sunglasses. Let's go ahead and close her up and she closes perfectly with the Chanel O pouch. So these are all of the essentials that you can actually fit inside of the Neverfull MM or PM pouch. As I mentioned, I think this is a fabulous piece. I love the fact that you're getting two for one when it comes to the Neverfull. So you're getting a daytime bag as well as an evening or on the run little clutch. And that is one of the reasons why I would not recommend selling this piece. You can find use for it. Even if you don't like to utilize it as a clutch, as I demonstrated with the Neverfull PM pouch, you can use it to store your feminine products. Or even with this particular pouch, you can also use it to store your feminine products. I've seen some people utilize this piece as a cosmetic pouch. So if you don't own a cosmetic pouch, this would be great for you to store your cosmetics. If you do decide to use the Neverfull MM pouch as a cosmetic pouch, I highly recommend that you get an organizer.
As I mentioned, the interior is textile lining, so you don't want to ruin the lining of this particular pouch if you decide to use it as a cosmetic bag. I highly recommend these pouches, and if you don't own the Neverfull, as I mentioned, you can certainly purchase them from the pre-love market. I've also seen them being sold on eBay. So there are a variety of shops that you can go to purchase the Neverfull pouches if you strictly want the pouch and you don't care much for the bag. So that is it guys, that was my review of the Neverfull MM and PM pouch. I hope you found this video valuable and it helped you make a decision as to number one, whether or not you should add the Neverfull to your collection so that you can get one of these pouches. Or if you already own the Neverfull and are unsure of how to utilize this piece, I hope that this video gave you some inspiration or gave you some ideas as to whether or not you should purchase this piece separately. As always, I thank you so much for tuning in to Luxa Paris, and I will chat with you guys on my next video.